Song of Songs 5, 8. Hishbati et chem benot Yerushalayim im timtsu et dodi ma tagidu lo shecholat ahava ani. So she says here at the beginning, I adjure you all, and we've seen this before. Here's our direct object marker with the 2MP suffix. The verb here is a hifil perfect 1CS of the root shin bait ayin, which means to swear or to put under oath. As a hifil causative, this would be something like, I cause you all to swear, or I put you all under oath who is the you all, but it is the daughters of Jerusalem. And so this would be evocative, O daughters of Jerusalem. Notice here we're missing the Yod, and then this font again is a little bit odd. There's our Hiric of the Yerushalayim um, without the Yod there. So uh, we're back to adjuring the daughters of Jerusalem, but this time it is a search for her beloved. If you find... My beloved, direct object marker here. The verb is a call imperfect 2MP of the root uh, mem tsade ayin. If you find my beloved, what, there's an interrogative, what will you declare to him? This time we get a hifil imperfect 2MP of the root nun gimel dalit. The nun has assimilated. We see this all the time with that one nun. It assimilates. We've got the A performative vowel and the hiric yod thematic vowel for that hifil. What will you declare to him? Now, I don't think this is her asking a question as much as it is her saying, here's what I want you to declare to him, but forming it as a question because ma indeed is an interrogative. Then we get the she particle, this relative particle, and then we get sick of, there's a feminine singular construct, sick of love, am, this is a verbless clause, am I. Now, if we flip this around and put it into good English, we would say something like, what will you declare to him? We might imply, declare to him that I am sick of love or sick of with love. This clearly doesn't mean that she's sick of love. She is in love. So she is sick with love.